Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of InRange. I have a very special video for you today. It's a mud test. It's a mud test on a gun you probably haven't seen here yet in the United States. And if you have, it's just recently. This is the Springfield Armory Hellion, which is the semi-automatic civilian version of the Croatian service rifle, the VHS-2. We are very privileged to have this with us today and to be able to be the first person to do a mud test in range style with this really very interesting and beautiful service rifle. And I say beautiful because it's about beautiful in terms of its function more than its form. We shot this at a two gun match and this thing really rocks. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna fire five rounds just to show the gun is working. Takes any standard standard mag. Here we go, five rounds. And on safe. Now, my prediction is that this is gonna pass. The reason I think that is, even with the dust cover open, this is very close. They are very close, their tolerances aren't the right word. The clearances are very tight in here. Even with the bolt closed without the dust cover closed, this is very tight and closed. The actual gas system is also probably not gonna get impeded. And I don't think there's any ingress points in the charging handle. But as we do on in range, we're gonna close the dust cover first. We're gonna take this thing and here we go. Our normal goopy yuck. Into the front, into the fire control group, on top of that dust cover, on the mag. I'm gonna flip it over, do the same, just because we get both sides. Who knows if there's other ingress. This is capable of being switched to ambi, so left to right, so we need to get both sides just in case there's ingress on one side that we wouldn't have predicted. Pick it up, normal shake. Oh man, I'm gonna be messy. All right, here we go. Where is the, oh, there it is. Five rounds. As predicted, dust cover open. Here we go. Here, let's, we got the goopiest of the goopy here. Right in the hole. We love doing that, right? Our, our mud tests are right in the hole. Ooh. All right. One shake. And we're going to go through a mag. Safety off. There it is. And we are, oh, we emptied the mag. We got through the whole mag, I believe. And it's open. Oh, nope. Nope. I got ammo. Didn't quite go, so I'm going to cycle it. Pull this out. Oh, we almost got through an entire mag. So what I'm going to do is close this. I'm going to grab another mag. That's pretty good. Clean mag. I think we're there. Yep, we are. Here we go. Two rounds, three rounds. Okay. One. All right, we're getting one at a time now. Let's see what's going on. Mag is clean. It's not that. Let's open it up. I think we've got some in ingress into the locking lug area. We almost got through an entire mag, which is, I think, pretty good. Why don't we use our little liter of water and I'm gonna rinse this off and see if it makes a difference. <laughs> That's to simulate a canteen, right? Woo! That's some spicy mud today. All right, <laughs> another clean mag. Inserted. Cycled. Yeah, it worked. we're in battery. Fire control group just got weird. All right, now we got a problem in the fire control group. I'm going to open this. Let's cycle it. I'm going to rinse it again. You can just watch from there. Oh, 
Got a little water left of our one liter. I'm gonna open it up, hold it open. I'm gonna rinse it again on the inside. Trigger's dead. It's mushy, there's something in there. Something has gotten from here into the mechanism here-ish <laughs> that is causing it to not fire. So some kind of, I bet you, people in the audience always say, use your canteen, clean it off, piss into it. That's where the canteen came from. And I rinsed it this way. I bet you I backflowed mud into the action back here and we now have problems with the fire control group. So that raises an interesting question about if the gun fouled, fouled What's the best way to want, rinse it with water? With this action, it might've been better this way rather than that way. So we were doing some diagnostics here and we figured it out. I was right. This is sealed sufficiently for dirt and debris to not get into the action. And the gun continuously went into battery without a problem. I thought maybe it had something to do with the fire control group, but we took this apart and this was fine. The safety is completely screwed. You can't take it off fire. It's just not gonna move. And this ingress slot where the charging handle is, this is what happened. The dirt went in here, down into the fire control group controls, not the fire control group itself, but the actual safety and the transfer rod. So what we're gonna do is pop this off and see what's in this here that's blocking it. So that's out. Ugh. That's out. Yeah, this stuff looks pretty clean. I mean, like nothing really got in. Side, not too bad. Yeah, you can uh, see the holes right there, and that goes straight down is. into the action. There it is, right there. Yep. It's very difficult to see, but there's basically just a literal puddle of mud right underneath the door. However, it got through almost the entire mag. We went through, what, 20 rounds after being mudded. With the dust cover closed, we saw no issues, which is exactly why that exists. With it open, the close the, the tolerances or the close, the very tight clearances inside this action did a good job, but not a perfect job, and some stuff got in there. And upon cycling it and trying to rinse it with water, we actually made the issue worse. That said, this is a very compelling bullpup on the market. I really enjoy shooting it. In fact, I won the two-gun match with it the first time I used it. I think Croatia does have a winner on their hands, and I think that that test there, this is a very brutal test, and I think the way this went is, I'm gonna give this an A minus B plus. Not full pass, but pretty damn good. And I think we should all be excited about this new entry on the market. I wanna thank Springfield Armory and HS for getting this over here to the United States for us to do this early. It's really kind of them and obviously brave to know that InRange is doing a mud test on it and I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful to see more of this gun coming out in the market because we're starting to see a place now where bull pups are becoming more interesting than they used to be. It was a cool idea, now it's becoming a real idea. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please consider supporting InRange on Patreon. Every round we fired today, getting dirty and washing my clothes is all because of courtesy of you funding this channel. No sponsors, no overlords. I just borrowed this gun. I don't own it. They didn't give it to me. This was something I borrowed for this video, and I'm thankful for that. If you can, please consider it. If you can't, just share this video with your friends and defeat the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching.